Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. China has much larger fleet of fighter jets and other aircrafts when compared to Indian Air Force. However, it is also important to note that China has much larger airspace to defend which is nearly 2.5 times that of India. When it comes to operation across the LSE, the Indian Air Force is very well placed with nearly 25 airfields close to northern border of the country that are capable of launching operations against China. At the same time, China effectively has four airfields close to eastern Ladakh and around seven in Tibet. China is continuously upgrading its infrastructure and even more is coming up in Xinjiang. China has also disadvantage of very high altitude which gives Indian Air Force edge and it can launch a much larger number of missions when compared to PLA Air Force. For long, Indian military assets and infrastructures were Pakistan-centric, but things have changed drastically post the Galwan Valley incident. The Government of India has undertaken the modernization of the defense airfield infrastructure aimed at enhancing the capability in terms of facilitating operations in poor weather conditions including night operations, enhanced en route navigation infrastructure and enhanced traffic handling capabilities. The upgraded infrastructure now allows aircraft to take off and land in visibility as low as 300 meters. This could generate crucial combat air support for ground forces battling in the bad weather condition. The MAFI project is a turnkey project that includes installation and commissioning of modern airfield equipments like CAT-2 instrument landing system and CAT-2 airfield lightning system which is used in night landing. The modern equipment around the airfield will be also directly connected to the air traffic control thereby providing excellent control of the airfield systems to the air traffic controllers. This upgrade of navigation aids and infrastructure will allow air operations by military and civil aircraft even in poor visibility, adverse weather conditions while also enhancing the flight safety. The MAFI upgrade will be good news even for the commercial air operation. The only major commercial airfields that can provide better facilities than MAFI are Category 3 having instrument landing system in airports like Delhi which can guide aircraft to land even in zero visibility. The Indian Air Force aircraft such as C-130J Super Hercules, C-17 Globemaster 3, Su-30 MKI, MiG-29K and Afal would be able to utilize the full potential of MAFI. The older aircraft like MiG-21s do not have onboard electronics needed for utilizing the MAFI instrumentation. However, the MiG-29s are planned to be completely phased out by the year 2025. The Ministry of Defense had signed two contracts for the modernization of airfield and it will happen in two phases. The phase one was signed way back in 16th March 2011 for the modernization of 30 Indian Air Force airfields which has been completed now. The 30 airbase already modernized under MAFI include 8 along the Sino-Indian border. The contract for second phase of the modernization project worth Rs 1187 crore was signed between Ministry of Defense and Tata Power SED on May 8, 2020. It includes the modernization of another 37 airfields which is in progress. The budgetary allocation made for the modernization of airfields under phase 1 was Rs 1215.35 crore and phase 2 is Rs 1187.17 crore. The Indian Air Force 42 out of its 53 air bases now have permanent night landing facilities. Phase 2 is planned to be completed by the year 2024. Indian Air Force has also enabled 39 of its 53 military airfields and 9 advanced landing grounds ALGs for use by civil aircraft. This is an effort to enhance the regional connectivity and facilitate greater access to remote areas. The joint user airfield scheme would apply to military airfield in tier 2 and tier 3 cities. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, 
do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector